Emotional addiction is the next level of addiction, and we would say that this is what we call source pain addiction. These are typically what we would call our very first addictions. And emotional addictions would be the addictions that you acquire during your worst childhood trauma. And we have to broaden the definition of trauma to do this justice because everybody thinks that the only childhood trauma would be some form of abuse, sexual or physical abuse, verbal abuse, neglect, and anything else is not really trauma, but there's millions of types of trauma. And we would even say that anything that tricks your brain into some version of survival mode can be interpreted by your brain specifically as trauma. So something for me, <clears throat> excuse me, might not be trauma at all. Um, that thing for me might be water off a duck's back. It might not impact me in any way. It might not be connected to me in any way. But that same experience for you might be very traumatic. And so every person is different. And so anything that triggers your brain, any trauma that tricks your brain into some version of survival mode, that survival mode is perceived as a trauma. And so whatever it is that did that, it could be boredom. It could be isolation and loneliness. It could be the feelings of rejection. It could be a fear of going to school. It could be that kids were giggling in the other room and you thought it was about you. All of those things could be a trauma. And we see a lot of evidence of that after the fact. 